Crypto Enterprise, beam me up, Scotty. I need help on how to figure out how... Oh. All right, enough of that funny business. I want to teach you how to figure out how many solutions are possible, okay? If we use the square root method, I don't know if you ever learned that, we could do, we can get rid of the square. How do you get rid of a square? You take the square root, okay? If you take the square root of the left side of the equal sign, you got to take the square root of the right side. Now, keep this in mind. When you are the one who is physically putting the square root around a number, it's plus or minus. They never told you that in grade school, okay? When I take the square root of a square, it simply gets rid of the square, okay? And then what is the square root of 16? It's 4. See, back in the day, they taught you 4, but it's really plus or minus 4, okay? Because negative 4 times negative 4 will get you to 16. So now we can, we can solve this. We add 3 to both sides. 2x equals 3 plus or minus 4. Now, why did I write it like that rather than plus or minus 4 plus 3? Because I'm professional. That's how we do it. Okay, now we divide by 2, and we get 3 plus or minus 4 over 2. Now, we need two answers, okay? So I like breaking it down like this since I have room to work down. 3 plus 4 divided by 2, and 3 minus 4 divided by 2. So what is that? 7 divided by 2. Now, you can't go hit 3 plus 4 divided by 2 on the calculator. It will mess it up. But 3 plus 4 is 7 divided by 2 is 3. So x equals 3.5. That's one answer. 3 minus 4 is negative 1 over 2. So x equals negative 1 half is another answer. So how many solutions? Two. Okay, we're going to come back to that. How about here? When I take the square root of that, again, plus or minus. I have 2x minus 3 equals, well, the square root of 0 is 0. And there's no such thing as plus or minus 0. So it's just 0. Now we add 3 to both sides. We get 2x equals 3. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 3 over 2. How many solutions? 1 over here. Square root both sides. And now I take the square. Can you take the square root of a negative number? No. Actually, you can. It's down the road. But for right now, you cannot take the square root of a negative. So guess what? There's no solution, baby. Actually, we should get in the habit of saying no real solution. So let's go back. When you have something over here equal to a number bigger than zero, you're going to get two solutions. When you get something over here with a squared and a zero over here, you're going to have one solution. And when you have something over here with a squared and you have a negative number on the right side, no real solutions. That, my friends, is how you can determine how many solutions an equation has.